Wednesday, North Gate and Friends, it's time for the Midweek Encouragement. We haven't been here in a couple weeks, but last time we talked about... Yeah, we talked about sharing, kindness being contagious. Yes, with the story of the hat, so I thought I would wear it, but this week we are here with a little object lesson. It might be an old one, or you might think a little elementary, but we know a lot of kids watch the Midweek yeah, Encouragement. But the good. theme is for all of us. Mm -hmm. At the beginning of the year, Amy felt as she was journaling... Yeah, yeah, just journaling uh, January, asking God what he wanted for this year, and the words make space kept coming. So I jotted them down, shared them with Dan, talked about what it, what it is to make space, and yeah, we have an object lesson about making space. <laughs> yeah, not make space in our house for more junk, but making space in our life for the Holy Spirit to work. So anyways, here, Amy's going to talk about what each thing means here, the golf balls and the oatmeal, but our challenge is going to be fitting both of these in here and being able to put the lid on top. Right. So here we have these golf balls, and by the way, yeah. I won these! Any relatives are watching at the Keep Me Challenge, yeah, but if challenge. if I try to put them yeah. in together... These jars are all the same size. Yes. <laughs> uh, so we put these here and we put this. Is it possible to close this? No. No. The lid will not fit. We're not making space very well. No. So you would say these represent not only victory, but what else? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> these golf balls represent uh, prioritizing time with God, whether it be praying, Bible reading, uh, just practicing his presence uh yeah mm -hmm. being aware of god in our lives and this big jar of oatmeal it's not only breakfast but yeah all the other things that pull on our time mm. yeah lots and lots of stuff uh, that pulls on our time and our thoughts throughout the day yeah so yeah we we'll see if, if all the thoughts and the it's shaking up because our lives get a little shaky sometimes activity can fit in yeah Shake it again. Maybe a bad week, good week. We don't know. We're shaking it around. We're not adding any pressure, though. Yeah. Sometimes that happens. But let's see. We'll put this back. Here's our lid. And let's close it up. Mm -hmm. So our object lesson is, what should we put in first? It all fit in. And you can barely see the golf balls. We'll put mm -hmm. it in the in the cupboard and try to surprise somebody <laughs> yeah so if we put in the golf balls first or prioritize our relationship with god then all the other things that we have to do and accomplish in the day get done they all fit in and the lid seals on nicely yes so to make space to have the holy spirit work we need to in faith do what he's asking us to do and everything else will happen so this object lesson obviously isn't just for kids, it's for Dan and Amy and for our church and for the greater body of Christ and maybe for you today. Don't get lost in the busyness of life where you can't fit in mm -hmm. the Lord and however he wants to work with you, but make space, allow him in first and you'll see everything will work together. Amen. Yeah, just like this jar. Be encouraged and have a great week. Let's make space for the Holy Spirit. Bye-bye.